Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle, but you could also use this as a Doomstack versus Doomstack comparison, where we've got a Bretonian Knights of the Realm spam going up against Scarbrand with a Chosen of Corn spam, so loads of melee infantry. Now, in a straight up engagement, the Chosen of Corn will win. Now, another thing is that we're under siege and he's sallying out, but um, we've got some garrison force here. Now, this might seem like a bit of an odd move to people, but I'm actually not going to control our army. Because even though they don't have any reinforcements, that provides no advantage to or disadvantage to Scarbrand, I actually don't want these guys to show up at all, because our army is full of speedy units. The slowest unit is this one here at 84 speed. These guys here are an anchor weighing me down, where my only advantage is speed. So I just don't want them to show up at all. I don't want them on AI control, nothing. Because if these guys show up and they get killed, it makes it more difficult for me to inflict the army losses. Whereas if these guys here never show up on the battlefield, they don't make it difficult for us. They have no value to us whatsoever. Let's jump in here and see what we can do. So in terms of the order resolve, the odds are fairly close. But if we do just charge headfirst in, for one thing, it'll be an absolute slaughter. Scarbrand is insanely high level. And just because the order resolve says it's reasonably close doesn't actually mean that it is. Because if you charge headfirst into Chosen, they're pretty much just going to shrug it off. We don't have much armor piercing. We're not anti-infantry. These guys here aren't exactly anti-large, but they have just significantly better stats. Now, Scarbrand himself is also going to be insanely strong. Now, one of the big advantages here is that he is on the attack, which means that Scarbrand will just sit there until we do a magic or missile attack. So what I want to do here to begin with is try to pick away at valuable units that we can deal with quite easily, namely his Knights of Chaos, because our Knights are better than theirs. Because, uh... Like, they've got higher sort of regular stats, right? But So they'll be higher value, but our anti-large will give us a type advantage over them, whereas they've got no type advantage over us. Now, they'll usually put their cavalry on their flanks, so what I'm doing here, I'm leaving... I'm going to say five. Uh, all but five are just going to stare at them, because the AI like to respond in kind, just sort of react to whatever you do. They're very reactionary. If you leave most of your army staring at the enemy forces, they'll mostly just stare back at you. But I'm sending five over here in order to get them to move around a few units so that I can draw these Chaos Knights of Corn away. So I can fight them. Okay. Without uh, the rest of their army getting involved. That's it. Want them to chase me. I want them to chase me. This is good. Come at me, bruh. That's it. I want this. Yes. I want this. Okay. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But what we don't want is for them to get any of their charge bonus. So we charge at the one that is not being charged. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. They lost their charge bonus. There we go. Good stuff. Don't need lance formation, we lose melee defense with that, we don't want it at all. So in a one-on-one -on -one fight, they would win against a uh, Knights of the Realm, but when they get completely surrounded and swarmed, they don't. Okay, this guy here, I need him to feign charges of the Chaos Warriors of Corn with Halberds, because we don't want them hitting the rear here. We have won this engagement, as long as they don't get involved. So what I do is feign attacks. Oh, that guy there was supposed to feign it. Ah, uh, he's fine. Oh, those are just Marauders. We don't have to worry about that, that's fine. So we can see here, they only got 6 kills, 2,000 damage. They have not done their worth. Keep smashing those Chaos Knights. And... That's it, keep feigning them, because what I'm doing here is just preventing them from showing up over here, as much as possible. That's it. Those Marauders have no value to the enemy forces in this battle, so just take them out here, they're not going to do anything to us. Yeah. Alright, let's get this wizard over here, kind of low level, but uh, 
Man, if I had Dwellers below, this would be a trivial battle, but I don't have it, so all I can really rely on is healing. Okay, two units wiped out. Minimal damage to us. And I can recover a bit of health on them. No, don't go near them. Don't go near them. Okay, good. That Chaos Knight is a goner. Good stuff. Something's some fireball on us. Now, a bunch of our knights can overcome these Chaos Warriors of Corn if we cycle charge them effectively. Keep them constantly in the rear. But... It's 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 risky. It is risky. Ideally, we shouldn't try to fight them. Okay, the other unit of Chaos Knights is on the way, so maybe don't worry about it. That that's something that we want to fight versus this, which I really don't want to fight. Let's give him a bit of a heal. Get back over here. You keep this one. Actually, no. Run these guys down. Definitely want to fight them. No, come back here. Do not want to fight this. Another thing to keep in mind is we do have the timer, so... Ooh, actually, we've got a decent opportunity to go fight him. He's isolated. And I think our lord can handle him because he's anti-large magic attacks. This is anti-infantry. Scarbrand, I'm not sure how we're going to handle him. We need to get the advantage before we start fighting him, because there's nothing we can do to trade well against him. He's just going to smash whatever he fights. What the hell? How many times are you going to forget your orders? In guard mode. Okay, this is good. He should be able to win against that. Big type advantage. And any damage he takes, I can heal. Level 35 hero. Really good to take that up. Okay. Do it. Charge in there. He's charging in on our flank here. Probably will get us a little bit. But we also charge into his flank. Unfortunately, we're at the edge of the map here. Can't really escape that. Okay, do not want to fight him and Chosen. So get him out of there. Oh, he's got regen. How about that? Good for him. Just realized that then. Okay, this guy here is getting a few kills, but we're definitely trading well there. That guy's also got regen, but only in, while in melee. Okay, we need to hurry this up here. Before these guys get involved. Good. Ugh, these bloody small maps can be such a pain. Okay, not too much damage there. That's alright. Lopsided damage on this one here. It's the only one that's taking any serious damage. These guys here kind of got stuck trying to get out. Can't do anything about that. They're just stuck. But we still traded really well there. Both of their knight units are gone. And their hero over here is... Yeah, we're winning the engagement. And that's a good trade-off. Our lord for their hero is really good. Okay, the music just changed. That gives us some hope. Yep, just don't fight these other Chosen right now. Alright, I don't want this guy here fighting anymore. I'm going to pull him out of combat. Pull him out of the stuff here. Good, nice hit there. Starting to open up the battle a little bit more. Also, the more that they sort of run back and forth, the more tired they get, that's definitely to our advantage. Alright, let's bring in some more troops up this way. Come on, move. What's going on there? Alright, we got Marauders. Okay, Marauders are easy. I don't think our cavalry here should deal with the hero. They tend to not be very good at single entities, even though that's a large unit. So Marauders are easy. Chosen. Yeah, Chosen we got to be careful about. Very careful about Scarborough. And luckily, we are faster than him.
Blood Letters of Corn should be easy. Draw them over this way. Like I said, I don't really want to use this guy anymore. Keep him in reserve for now. Do we have Life Bloom? No. The Minotaurs actually shouldn't be that big of a concern. They're anti-infantry. They do have armor piercing though, so that is a bit of a concern. And they're still just reacting to us. Do not want to fight him. Just wanted to kill that. I reckon he just got a few kills in there. Yeah, he did. Okay. Move them out before he fights those chosen. Careful over there. Move back. Actually, he's a little bit pinned down now. Now we get him out. We get him out. It's fine. Alright, I need to get my damsel over here so we can heal some of these guys. You're going to have to keep standing and fighting there. Just send some more guys in. And as for the Chosen, just try to get them distracted while we're sorting out these Marauders. Because they're what's pinning us down. Just don't overcommit to these guys. We're just keeping them distracted. Because, yeah, you can see our charges aren't really doing much to them. Come on, what are you doing? You need to be aiming for him. These Marauders, they're not doing much. Yeah, they're done for. And this guy here did end up doing a fair bit of damage, but... I think we've gotten the advantage over him. Because that, that is a high-value unit. Unfortunately, he is immortal, though. He's hit his... Well, he's about to hit his regen cap. Sort of. We haven't hit ours yet. Oh, I think... Yeah, just showed up then. Jeez. Rude. Oh, that that could be good. Let's bring these more uh, minotaurs over this way. Actually, hit me. Why is our dude struggling so much against this guy? He's, he's got tired way faster than the, um... The, oh, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> this way, this way, this way. Could be good, still. still could still be good. Okay, that's it, that's it. Draw him in. Alright, he's out of there. He's disintegrating, he's gone. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't go in any further. Alright, good. Them losing this, that's a... Big advantage for us. Okay, just keep him out now, for a little bit. Alright, these Minotaurs, if we could draw them out, we should be able to kill them pretty quick. From my experience, using um, Knights of the Realm against uh, Minotaurs is pretty good. They don't seem that interested now. Like I said, I wanted to keep that guy out of it. Uh, no, I don't want to lure Scarbrand in. No thanks, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. No, 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 it's gonna hurt. Uh, damn charge speed. It's okay. Uh, maybe, actually, maybe if he's isolated. Maybe. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, we're gonna go fight him. He's isolated, we should go for him. Quick, 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 before he gets... Gets back. No, I think I missed my chance there. It's weird though. His speed's 80 and this one's speed 80, 84. No. We don't want to fight him near infantry. That's definitely to his advantage. We've got to be careful there. So I guess we just... Didn't get any kills, but he did do some damage to us. Alright, let's put you in among here and get some more healing done. Alright, now. The more we take out these low-value units... 
the harder it's going to be to isolate the higher value ones. We do have the ability to just surround them and just charge at them, but I don't think we'd win yet. Or if we did win, it would be very costly. We don't want to do that. If I can draw away the Minotaurs and the Bloodletters, that'd give us a big advantage. So I'm feigning a bit of a charge here. I just want to get their attention, get them to come over this way. Okay, I no longer mind fighting Scarbrand if I can draw him far enough away. Which I don't think I've done there. Let's just see if he takes the bait further. Uh, maybe, maybe. If I could just get him to get away from the rest of these guys. The um, Knights of the Realm themselves are not good against him at all. Yeah, we have to suck up a charge there. Come on, move him out. But what we can do is pin him down with cavalry and then use this guy here to try to dish out, dish out some damage because at least he's got magical attacks and anti-large. Okay, this is exactly what we want. Let's just hope this actually works. You, you come in as well because you're anti-large as well but you don't have magical attacks. It's fine. I need you to come around this way and help out. Bound by honor for the king. Yeah, I think his charge speed is just really quite high. That's how he caught the damsel before. Alright, everyone just pin him down. He doesn't do any area of effect abilities. Just keep him pinned down and we'll just grind him down. That's all we can really do. Does he have regen? Yeah. Just try to kill him as quick as possible. We're not walking out of this without a lot of casualties, but he's super high value, so it's fine. Even if he ends up killing a hundred ground, um, ground knights, knights of the realm, it's still worth it. Which he may just end up doing. Come on, land! Oh god, rampage is annoying. Land and fight him! Land properly. Yep, hit him in the rear. I want to see some damage come down on him. Oh, whoops. So I told you to go around the other way. At least he's tired. That's good. Good, the rest of the army just staring at him. He's not doing too much damage to our lord, that's good. But yeah, he's doing a lot of damage to the cavalry. Oh god. Okay, he just gave a really quite a heavy hit. Back off for a sec. Get that charge bonus in there. Now, there's no circumstance in where this guy is going to be able to one on one duel Scarbrand, but the hope here is that we could just do enough damage to him that maybe we can get him to crumble. We come down to half health. That's it. Keep eating Scarbrand's ass. That's it. They're just staring at us. But he's almost gone. Right, he's gonna start targeting us. It's gonna hurt. Oh, he didn't get hit. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, that was lucky. Come on. We've almost got him. Just a little bit more. He starts crumbling. Get another charge in on his rear. Nice. A little bit more. Okay, he's gonna start crumbling. Alright, well he didn't get the 100 kills, but he definitely wiped out a full unit of Knights of the Realm. Overall, worth it. Because that's going to cause a tiny bit of leadership penalty on all of them. And their most dangerous unit has been taken out. Without too much loss. No one got wiped out at least. Okay, next thing, Minotaurs.
Alright, if we can take out the Minotaurs. Basically, what I want to do here is take out those two Minotaurs, and then I'm willing to just, like, charge everything in. Because I feel like the odds will be good enough that we can overcome it. Reasonably isolated there. I'm actually not sure what they're doing. I think that maybe they were trying to lure me into a trap. Well, I didn't take it. Because if I had charged in there, yeah, I could have got a decent charge, but then these guys would have come up my rear and finished me off. Need to keep these guys here distracted. That's it. That's what we want to see. Keep them distracted. Good, good, good. Draw them in. Nope, they don't want to go any further. Have to go in. At least these ones here are going in the opposite direction. That's what we want. Keep all these distracted. Those Minotaurs will do some damage, but it shouldn't, shouldn't kill us all. The blood letters are nothing against us. Yeah, actually, the those Minotaurs are wrecking my knights there. Let's move them back. Keep these distracted. Okay, the other Minotaurs are over here. Let's start trying to get them out. Alright, looking at how much damage this one here has done. It has done a fair bit, but not too many kills. Overall, kind of like a trade-off there. But at least they're gone. One more unit I need to take out, this one here. And what we're going to do for that one is pincer it. And I come up behind it from here and attack it from the front. There is a Chaos Warrior of Corn Halberd, so we're going to need to make sure that unit's distracted. There's also a Chosen of Corn. I'll try my best to keep it distracted. Another unit of blood letters that'll be easy to kill, I think. Okay, that's good. This one's coming up this way. Good. Okay, this is so far so good. Just keep these units here from getting involved. It. Good, that's what we wanted to see originally. This one unit here basically did nothing. Alright, now that I've taken out all the units that I wanted to take out, it's time for the all, sort of all-out attack. We're going to be a bit more aggressive now since we're starting to run a little bit low on time. Okay, try not to just stay in prolonged combat against Chosen. It just doesn't work out that well. Okay, this unit here. They're done as far as I'm concerned in this battle. Alright, how best can we handle... Okay, taking out the blood letters will be a good choice to begin with. So what I'm going to do is bring all of my forces over to attack this flank. Just forget about this flank here. Try to use lopsided strength to our advantage as much as possible. God, those chosen rippers to shreds.
Now, I still don't think that using Lance Formation is ideal here because of the melee defense debuff. Okay, his blood letters are gone. Yeah, those Chosen are doing absolutely tons of damage. These ones here have not done that much. I could pull them out, but they're so stuck there at the moment. I'm not sure if it would actually give us any advantage. They're not doing that much damage to us. Because they're not anti-large, like this one. Can't stay in prolonged combat against that. This one here is almost broken. It's good that we've taken out Scarbrand at this point. Marauders the corner, easy. And everywhere I look, I see these bloody Chaos Warriors of Torn. As long as we're not charging into them when they're braced, we should be okay. Taking a fair bit of damage from the back. Good, finally getting rid of this one. So, how'd they go? 42 kills. If anything, they're more dangerous than the Chosen. Should really try focusing on distracting them. Badly damaged, move it out of the way. Okay, at least there's no more halberds in here, so the more they're distracted out that way, the better. Good. For the king. My strength is yours. Right, that one there is reasonably isolated. Slay the unchivalrous fools. Fall, Wintonia. And beat. The walls are Don't need to commit for too long, or else the chosen end up doing way too much damage. Good. That one only got 17 kills. That's not so bad. So we've got a few units here that are essentially fresh. We should try to use them a bit more. Alright, I think if we can get another couple of really good engagements, we'll inflict the army losses. Now, if the AI had any brains, they just try to stay still and brace. But while they move around, they create weaknesses that we can make use of. Always trying, wherever possible, to hit them in the rear. When they turn around, it creates a new rear.
He's almost broken, just a little bit more damage. I know our damsel's in there, but she's not taking much damage, she's fine. How about you? You go in there and pin them down. Oh, that's halberds. No, we should avoid fighting them completely. So he's isolated, take it out. Nope, shouldn't have sent him in there, that was a mistake. But at least it got them distracted for a little bit. Just feigning this attack here. Keep them busy. Army losses should be any moment now. Victory's in our grasp. Just avoid this guy here. There we go. Does require a lot of effort to use this kind of army, but you can get pretty good results. There's no way that a peasant army would have been able to overcome this. And then we get to run them all down. But obviously, Grail Knights wouldn't have had any issue either. But that's not what we had. We had Knights of the Realm, and they were able to overcome it. And a level 10 Lord managed to take out a level 35 Hero and a level 41 Scarbrand, you know, with a little bit of assistance. And a lot of Chosen. That's going to take them quite some time to recover that. And no units have been wiped out, so it shouldn't take them too long to recover it. And these guys here slowly get a bit stronger. And there we go. So I'm pretty happy with those results. We lost about a quarter of our forces, pretty much completely eradicated Scarbrand's forces. You're going to get a lot of experience out of that. If we had Dwellers below, we could have so easily cleared out all of the stuff, all the infantry. We wouldn't have even had to have fought Scarbrand. Because yeah, you just get those... Um, Infantry to pull up, dwellers below, even though they've got some spell resistance, dwellers below will still absolutely wreck them. But the surprising second biggest threat in this army was the uh, Halberd unit. I tried to take it out, but just wasn't getting any value out of it. And like I said, I just didn't need these guys in there at all. Alright, give me some money. And you're in a position that you can pursue them if you want. And that's actually a really good defeat trait for uh, for this army for the extra weapon strength and charge bonus so yeah they've gotten significantly better next time they go up against Scarbrand they'll be able to handle that a lot easier and of course the extra skill points on these heroes you're well on your way towards dwellers below which will really help the extra replenish will really help out here as well especially considering it's red territory Ugh. anyway that's the end of this one here guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe bye